We are finally back with another So Rare video. If you're new to the channel and you've not seen this before, we have been doing a few videos on how to play. We'll be bringing out much more tutorials as well. We have got some crazy rewards this week from a lot of planning and getting the execution right. So we will see that. If you don't know what So Rare is, I've also done a few videos on another channel, which I'll link in the comment section down below. If you do want to join up, you can scan the QR code just beneath me, or you can use the link to take you through. And if you win five cards off the auction market, you'll also get another one as well. So starting off with our first lineup, as you can see on our screen here, is our Cap 240. Wasn't too optimistic about this. We had Crystal Palace against Sheffield, who got a 1-0 win. And obviously Neto against or Bournemouth versus West Ham. He only had two shots at him. And unfortunately, he didn't stop one of them and the other one went in. So he didn't get a clean sheet bonus. But we were only aiming to get our £5 from hitting 250 points. We're five points over. So that is £5, five euros or dollars into the bag secured. Now moving up, we had our all-star team. And I was really excited with this team. We had Saliba. We had Martinelli. We had Ramsdale. And Arteta decided to do a tactical change and drop Gabriel from the lineup, which then killed this lineup straight away. We didn't get a clean sheet anyway, but you can see here Saliba with an assist, Martinelli with an assist. As they did okay as a captain, didn't do as well as I would have liked. But we were just so unlucky. If Gabriel played the whole game, who knows? We might have got a clean sheet at Arsenal, meaning these would have got a lot more points. But it isn't what we got, unfortunately. Now, Premier League amateur, we were 32 points away from getting a reward. And that's just down to Bruno Gomez. I could have maybe made a change there. We got Esther Pinyan right. We got the goalkeeper with a clean sheet right. We got Saka right. And we got Harden as our captain with the two goals. We got everything right apart from the midfielder and maybe getting a different keeper in there. But I will be dropping a video on how to win amateur because we managed to get ourselves 23rd out of, I think, 78,000 people in La Liga amateur. You can see here. Kubu got 86, Robotone only 53, Palazon, who was our captain, got 123, Alaba with 100, and Ter Stegen with a clean sheet. Now, I did have Kunde in my team, and if I put Kunde in instead of Robotone, I would have been first because Kunde also got 100 points. But it is what it is. So we've got ourselves a tier three, which we get completely from free from playing this. So again, if you use the link, you don't have to put any money on. You can play for free, and I will be bringing out the video on how to increase your chances on to win. Now we are going into our Premier League Pro, which we came fourth. We were 0.8 point away from coming third. A podium, literally under a point away. The only thing I could have done different was making Anderson my captain and not Ayu. But again, I knew Palace were going to get that clean sheet against Sheffield. I did originally go for an Arsenal stack, but I changed my mind last minute. We kept Saka in, who played really well, got 89 out of 100. I with the assist. Mark Gay with 92 points overall. The same for Anderson, who got 92 points. Uh, Mark Gay got 80, but because we got an XP boost, they went up to 92. And we were only 16 or 17 points away from being first out of the whole thing, which is a shame. And that's how we ended up this week. We had a few other lineups that are not worth shouting about. So let's go and jump into our rewards and just see how we get on with this. So we have got ourselves the four rewards. There's going to be one is going to be the Ethereum. Another one is going to be the coins. And then we have our two cards. So starting off with the coins, let's see how many coins we got. I think it's around 590. And we have got ourselves 590 coins as predicted. And then we have our five pound or euros or dollars, which we've got there from Ethereum. So it's going to be nice in to the pot. Now we have our La Liga amateur card. Free mode that we got here is a tier three. Let's see what we get. I'm not really too fast. It is going to be a Spanish midfielder from... Oh, it's not the best team. But he is under 21 years old. Antonio Blanco. So let me go search him up quickly and see what he's... So here he is then. He's about seven euros, but it looks a little bit under. But he is under 23s. And I am trying to build an under 23s team. Now he's only 21 years old by the looks of it. And we've got a little bit of utility. Scores are okay. He does get a few 69s here. Average of 50s. Not looking like a bad one. In terms of price, like I said, he's around that price there. If we go back to Euros as I'm in, he seems to have sold for around 7 to 5 Euros, which I'll take. They're the old cards. So we'll see how we get on. But let's go into our Premier League reward now. So here we go then. Our fourth place finish. Who are we going to get out of this? It's going to be Belgium. Centre mid It's going to be Kevin De Bruyne, who is injured for four months. So I don't know if I can get a trade on that or not. That is a good one to get in terms of future investment. But in terms of now, I'm not sure. If I have a look at his price, Kevin De Bruyne is around the price of $75. So in terms of euros, his price is going down because of that injury. It's just come out today. 
It's about 67 euros. Before the news came out, it's about 84. So he's gone down already quite a lot. So I'm probably going to see if I can get this a swap because if he's injured, you can and see how we get on. But let me know if you get anything like that in your rewards or anything like that. If you need any help, comment down below. And if you want to sign up, use that QR code underneath the camera. And you can also click on the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.